Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. Love each and every one. Anybody watching this video might be just for one person. But my word to encourage myself. And you will have to encourage yourself in this season of life is to get back up. No matter what you're going through, get back up. When you get enveloped and swallowed by depression, get back up. With heartbreak, come down the line, get back up. When your job fail you, and the people on the job turn their back on you, or gossip about you, or accuse you, get back up. If you're sick and you have infirmities, hallelujah, no matter what it is, high blood pressure, diabetes, hallelujah, impotence, hallelujah, uh, you can't see, your eyes are failing you, your heart is not working right, whatever it is, get back up, be encouraged, stay focused, stay positive, when the enemy come in, even in your dreams, and you're defeated in that particular dream, you tell the devil he is a liar. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And you get back up. You condemn whatever, you counsel whatever. The enemy send your way through mental attack, your imagination. You get back up. When you run out of money and you don't know how you're going to eat. Or you, you, you don't know how you're going to make it. You get back up. You might even have to fast that day or that uh, next few days but get back up anyway we don't have enough money to even put in your car for gas gas is high you still get back up if your child mis misbehaves and disappoints you and have you stressed out you still get back up when you don't know how you're gonna pay your bill and things are looking bleak you get back up standing on the word of God. If you're a man or woman of God, you trust in God. God cannot fail. And in the kingdom of God, we don't live in the same uh, uh, financial system as the world. In the kingdom of God, God is not poor. Nor his people should be poor. So God will open a, a, a way for you. He will make a way for you. You just have to figure it out. Seek God. Use your wisdom and the knowledge of God. It might not be what you want, but he will provide. Get back up. Hallelujah. When the person you wit turn their back on you and you're crushed, heartbroken, and crushed in spirit, still get back up. It might take time. Everything is done in time. Things ain't done overnight. The Bible say even in deliverance. Demonic deliverance, deliverance in any kind of level, any kind of way, little by little. You don't build a house overnight unless it's uh, <laughs> a, a mobile home, but it still has to have a foundation. The ground still has to be level. You have to build a foundation to put that house on, level by level, little by little. So whatever you're going through, get back up. If you're stuck on drugs or alcohol, you're an alcoholic and you keep falling down and you keep falling back and you're trying to get off, get back up. I was able to do it and you can do it too through, through the power of Jesus Christ. Get back up. Get back up. Whatever it is, if you're a liar, you don't want to lie and you keep on lying, Keep on trying, keep on calling out, keep on praying, and you'll be delivered eventually from that stronghold, alcohol, drugs, lying. If you have a, a, a flesh problem, even in the church, you lust with your, your eyes, your flesh, you keep on messing up. Get back up, don't stay down. That's what the enemy wanna do it. And don't allow the enemy to magnify, hallelujah, your problems in your mind. You take a, a, a molehill and turn it into a mountain. Get back up. If you look at the patriarchs in the Bible, David wrote a whole Psalm of 51 where he had to repent. 
He had a contrite spirit and a broken heart. He got back up because he murdered a man for his woman, committed adultery, and had a child <coughs> outside of wedlock. But he got back up after the prophet spoke to him. He got back up. Moses, when he struck the rock twice, and God told him he wouldn't make it into the promised land because he crucified Christ symbolically by hitting a rock in anger. He said, I, not God, allow the water to flow, but I, he did it in anger. But he got back up and still led the children of Israel. Even after that failure, even when Joseph, his own brothers, he was a dreamer, threw him in the pit, then decided they were gonna kill him. And he went into a man's house as a servant and the woman accused him of rape, when he, which he didn't commit. And he went into the prison in Egypt. He got back up and became the second man in Egypt. Hallelujah, the ruler of Egypt. He got back up. Even when Adam got casted out of the garden, he, he had to get up, till the ground. He got back up, get back up. Don't stay down. Look at Joshua and Caleb. The whole book. Where they were oppressed. And God promised them. He had to follow what Moses had told him to do. And what God wanted him to do after Moses. God took Moses from the earth. He went into that land of milk and honey. And destroyed all those giants. And those Philistines. Those Canaanites. He got back up. Elijah got back up after he defeated the, the prophets of Baal. And Jezebel come out there. He went into a deep depression, hid in the cave. But he got back up. God ministered to him. He got back up. Look at Jesus Christ, the greatest example. Even after his first sermon, they tried to push him off of a cliff. His whole ministry he was oppressed but he preached he taught he healed he casted out demons he got back up no matter what the tricks were they tried to trick him with the law he got back up even after they kill him on the cross his own people he got back up on the third day death burial and resurrection he got back up he went down into the center of the earth. Hallelujah. Was Satan and his homeboys of that. And he took the keys of death, hell, and the grave. He said, oh grave, where is thy victory? Oh death, where is thy sting? He took the keys of death, hell, and the grave. And we might have a chance to the tree of life through his sacrifice, through the blood of Jesus. You get back up like he got back up and he brought up the ones that waited on the promise in paradise. He took them up, hallelujah, and walked around on the streets of Jerusalem for hallelujah for 40 days. And he taught the apostles and told them what to do before he ascended with those that are waiting on the promise. You get back up, no matter what you're going through. Get back up, no matter where you fell at. Hallelujah. Go to God. Confess whatever your sin is, your transgression, and get back up. Don't stay down. Look at the prodigal son. He wanted his inheritance. And his father gave him, hallelujah, his money <coughs> that he wanted. <coughs> Excuse me. And he went out and splurged and bawled out and got broke and ended up eating with the pigs. That's what we do sometimes when we leave God's. We'll go back, we'll backslide. Hallelujah, and we'll go back to that vomit and lick it up like a dog. But he was eating with the pigs, which consider a very unclean uh, animal in the word of God. But he came to himself. Sometimes you gotta encourage yourself. And he went back to his father's house in humility. And the father, which is God, our father, He's not sitting around trying to punish us and destroy us. He wants us to get back up, repent, dust ourselves off. You dust yourself off. Hallelujah, you confess whatever. You tell God, look, I'm struggling. And you get back up and keep going. 
If you don't have a job, get back up. Hallelujah. If you don't have money, get up. The way will be provided if you're sick. Get back up. Don't stay down in your mind. Depression will take you down. That's a trick of the enemy. That's the spirit of the enemy. Been there, done that. Hallelujah. If you got to take your anxiety pills, take them. If you got to go walk and walk. If you got to uh, quote script and quote them. If you got to fast and pray, pray. But get back up. Find somebody with a like mind like you and stay encouraged. Get back up no matter what you're going through. Y'all have a blessed day.